Hi guys, James here. Today we're going to be looking at moving averages and different time scales. I'm deep, deep in Fangorn Forest here. It's a little bit spooky as you can see. Could be anything here. Could be wolves, could be bears, could be anything. Just look at this tree, look at this sand coming out of this tree. Whoa, what's that? What's that? I hear something. Maybe it's an, an orc come to get me. Ah! <laughs> I'll see you on the charts. Averages and time frames using different time frames to get your entry and to define the trend, whether that be up, down, or consolidation. Um, so there's only three things any market can do. It's either going to go up, it's going to go down, or it's going to consolidate. Um, so one of those three things. Now if we look here at the Dow Jones average, we can see the red line here is a 200 day moving average. The gray line is a 50 day and the green line is a 20 day moving average. Now you can see this is on a five minute chart. Down here we've got the 200 day moving average, which is the furthest away obviously because it's a 200 day moving average then we've got right on top of the price action we have the 20 day green and the 50 day there now they they pretty much hug the price action on the five minute chart so you can see the uh, the price just floats along with those two moving averages whereas the 200 day down here is further away because it's more of a long term one. Now, um, using the moving averages for your entries and your exits, and this is very important. Um, here you see we broke the, the 50 day and the 20 day, and we came down here, we pulled back, and we couldn't hold. And it was a trap. This is what you call a trap. So the sellers here tried to break out and they couldn't hold it and they failed. So this is a bear trap this is where the sellers get trapped and the price goes back to the moving average and it can't hold. So then the, the bulls and the buyers took, took their position here and pushed it back up. Um, but not very far, but um, nevertheless, it didn't really hold. And then it had another go here, it breaks out, pulls back, pulls back two tries. Normally, something has two tries, any market has one, has one three tries, and it will change direction. So we have one try, two tries, comes back. And then finally it breaks out here this is a good breakout here now I'll tell you exactly where you want to buy for a very strong move and you're gonna see now exactly what I'm saying um, so here we are we break the 50 day and the 20 day here we move down we pull back to test the support and the support holds there. This is the very important thing. We break out, pull back, it holds and it doesn't go through the moving averages there. And it continues the move down further. So you go break out, pull back, and then re and then we go again. And then it continues down, 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 lovely down move here all the way down to here but the key thing is when it pulls back 
always, when you get a breakout, unless it's completely crazy, like I've seen Gold move 40 or $50 in in a minute, you know, after an, um, after an, an interest rate announcement, something like this, unless there's something crazy like that, normally, when the price breaks out on anything, it will break out like this, here, it will break out, it comes back to test the support, the support holds, and it goes again. So we break out, pull back, test support, and we go again. And we get a really nice down move. So I hope that was clear. But the key thing is, it must hold when it pulls back. Whether it goes up or down, when the price breaks out, it always normally pulls back to test the conviction of those sellers. And you can see the conviction was strong. It was a strong move. And we get the move down to there. And the pullback held. Now, this is what you want when you, if you're going short or you're selling this market, you want to get in front of that moving average. You don't want to um, get trapped, as you saw before, because if you do do this and you think, oh, this one's good here, this big green candle here, oh, let's buy here, and you buy here, and you're going straight back into the moving averages. So it's just a trap. Because we, we haven't broken out. You've got to, if you want to be a buyer the other way, let's have a look here. On the buy side, you can see here we're hovering around the moving averages. Then we get uh, this one here, this big one. It's the first real strong candle here through the 20 day, through the 50 day, and it even touches the 200 day. Then it pulls back here, and it comes down here, back again, and then it comes through again. So it's a strong breakout here, pulls back again, then up again, it's, it's, it's a good move, but it's not really, um, not really what we want, so uh, I can't show you on the buy side, but uh, you want you need to get that moving average behind you before you um, enter the position because you're just gonna get trapped. Like, um, let's see if we can find something else for you now. Um, this one here, okay, this is good. This big down candle breaks out, good breakout, pulls back, doesn't hold the pullback, and goes, reverses and goes the other way. So uh, you must be able to hold the pullback, and, uh, and you must get that moving average on your side. You don't want to be going into that moving average, you want to get that behind you, Get the moving average behind you, and then you've got the strength, you see? I mean, um, all these false breakouts, like uh, this one, it doesn't really, you know, you, no point in buying here. If you buy here, I mean, if you sell here, sorry, if you sell here on this red one, and you're selling at the top of the candle, this is no good because it's not even through and it gets to here and it tries to uh, pull back, hold the support, doesn't and comes back the other way. You want to hold the moving averages and hold the support. I know it's a bit technical but I hope you can understand that. Um, once you get them behind you, like here, where you come down here. You break through the 50 day and the 20 day here. We come down and we get through them and we hold. So then here, you've got a nice move down to there and you've got the strength. You must be able to, to break through them to get the strength. And I use, as you can see, 
20 day, 50 day, and 200 day moving averages. So, um, and I actually like them. I find them to be the uh, to be the best. Uh, now, I also want to talk about um, different time frames. I've spoken a lot on that moving averages. Um, so, I want to talk about entries on time frames and defining trends. So, uh, let's go and have a look at Coco here, London Coco, which has finally gone down. We've had this long consolidation here. My crikey, this has been a pain. But we're going down. And this is what I foresaw. And we've been holding out a long time here. Because we made good money going down here. And then we've had a lot of pain here. And then finally it's breaking down here. Then you can see, we're using the monthly... Um, to see that we're in a strong downtrend there to identify the trend on the monthly. We'll switch from going up to an uptrend to a downtrend there. So we've got a downtrend on the monthly. On the weekly, we've got the downtrend. Once again, on the weekly. This week has just broken out last night. When that closed in London last night, we've just got a weekly breakout here on the cocoa. So this is a, a, a good tip for you. And if we get the daily, you can see that we're in downtrend. So we use those time frames to define the trend. Now, we use the uh, hourly or the two hourly to define our entry. So you look at the candles here, and this is where you look for the swing highs. This is a swing high, swing low, lower high, lower low. So we're finally moving down. You see higher high, lower low. No. High, the swing high here, swing low here, and then you get a lower high, and a lower low here. So we, and in order to downtrend, you have to get lower highs and lower lows. To uptrend, you need higher highs and higher lows. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's explained something for you today. I use that. I hope you've enjoyed the videos this week. Please let me know. Please comment and uh, like the videos. Let me know if you want me to keep making these videos. Please comment, let me know if you like them. I hope you found them really useful, like I just said. And I hope you're uh, taking away some great knowledge. So, uh, speak to you later. Bye for now.